Welcome everybody, Marvelous Mike here, and today I wanted to discuss on how to add products on Amazon. Now, this is going to be pivotal for anybody trying to sell on their professional seller account through Amazon. So this is going to be more geared to online arbitrage and retail arbitrage, but it's still going to work for people doing wholesale, private label, basically anybody, even if you want to do fulfillment by merchant. All right, so on today's agenda, I'm going to discuss how to find the ASIN number of the product that you want to sell, how to add that product to your inventory, then convert it from FBM, Fulfillment by Merchant, to Fulfillment by Amazon FBA, gated versus ungated, and also how to request for approval if you are gated on a product or even a subcategory or category. And I'm also going to kind of discuss a little bit of how I got auto ungated for some products, some categories. So we'll discuss about that. So let's get right into it. So the ASIN stands for Amazon Standard Identification Number, and there's two different ways for you to find it. Now, it's a 10 character alphanumeric identifier that it's assigned by Amazon. That way it could be specific in their Amazon catalog for that specific product. Now, like I said, there's two ways to find it. The first way to find it is going to be on your browser. So on your browser at the top, there has the Amazon.com address link. In there, there's going to have the 10 character alphanumeric number. And then the other way to find it is either to do a control F or a command F and just type in ASIN. Now it's going to bring you to the bottom of that product page and it's going to have the number there. Once you have that, you'll be able to list that product or well, to even see if you're gated or ungated on that product, list it, sell it, earn some profit. So let's go ahead and do a live example on how that works and how to find it. Okay, so we're on the main page right now of Amazon. Um, I just kind of scrolled down to see what there is now right now there's the top fri the top black friday deals okay holidays black friday's coming up let's say you want to sell this uh crock pot cooker slow cooker rice cooker all this good stuff now see how it has a three quart six quart eight quart and then a dual um plus bundle so this is the different types of variation that this product has now for you to find this asin as i mentioned there's two different ways now the first one is at the top bar so see i'm on chrome Here's the address link. See, amazon.com forward slash instant pot plus programmer sterilizer, yada, yada, yada. So these are the 10 alphanumeric numbers that you want. This is the ASIN number, and this is probably the fast and easiest way to find it. Um, and the other one I said, control F, command F, whatever, depending on the platform you're using. Uh, Kepa, we'll probably talk about that later. Or Kepa, whatever people call it. Um, but the other one, like I said, just scroll down. You're going to want to go all the way down to this part, product information. So notice this one is a three quart size. Now, the three quart size has a different ASIN number than the six and the eight and the other one, dual, whatever it was called. Um, but here it is. ASIN number, same thing as um, the thing on the address bar, B075CYMYK6. Um, so that's how you find the ASIN number. So if... If this is a product that you're selling, you're going to go ahead, copy this one, and then you're going to search it and then add it to your inventory. But we'll do another live example on that one later on in this video. So let's move on to the next part of the video. So there's a couple different ways for you to add a product. You can identify it by the UPC, the EAN, the ISBM number, or the ASIN number, which I just showed you how to get. Now, once you have that number or your identifier number, you're going to go into your Seller Central dashboard, click on the catalog, click on add a product, and then from there is a search bar and you're going to put your identifier number there. For this case, let's take the ASIN number. Now, you're going to get that ASIN number, put it on that search bar, search it, and then a listing is going to appear. Now, you're going to have three different options there. It's either going to say sell yours, request approval, or show variation. Now, if it's a if it's a product that has different variations, such as color, size, and all that good stuff, it, that's what is going to appear. And then once you click on sell variation, there's going to be a list, and you're going to have to find which one you want to sell, which product you're selling. Click on that one, sell yours on that one. Now, if you're gated, you're going to have a tab that's going to say request approval, and we'll discuss that later on in the video. But for right now, let's just talk about the sell yours. Now, wh when you're ungated, you'll have that tab sell yours. That means that you can sell your product, you can send it to Amazon, do the whole FBA, or even do FBM on there. Now, 
Once you click on the sell yours tab, it's going to take you to a different page and that one's going to be your offer page. From there, you're going to put the condition it is, the price that you want to sell it, and then the quantity that you want to send uh, when you're doing FBA. Me personally, I always put zero just because I like to convert uh, my items to F from FBM to FBA, which I'll show you how to do that later. And then from there, the one thing that you want to uh, put is the condition. Now, most of the items that you get are going to be new um, unless they have some type of dings or they're already used from there. You can bring down the, the drop down menu, select which condition it is, and then from there, sell it. All right. So with that said, let's go ahead and do a live example. All right, so now that we have the ASIN number of the product that we want to sell, we're going to use the same example of that crock pot, right? Which was uh, this one or slow cooker, whatever it was called. So this is the ASIN number. So we're going to want to go into our Amazon seller dashboard, which is this. Go to catalog, click on add a product, or you can just click on that. And then go ahead and put the ASIN number. Now, the ASIN number is going to be right there on the bottom in that search thing. Click on search. And that's going to bring you to the uh, product page to add a product page. So here we have um, different things that we're going to do, right? So we have the listing limitations apply. So we click on that. We have a sell yours. And then we also have a request approval. So as you guys can see, I can't sell this item as new in new condition. I need approval. So I'm gated in that category. So with that, um, I do... I'll use this as an example later on in the video when we're doing the whole request approval thing to even see uh, if I am auto ungated on that one. If well, I mean, if I can't get auto ungated. So I want to ahead and just clicked on another one, which is this one we're going to take. Now we're going to take this ASIN number. All right. We're going to do the same thing. Search now for this one. Uh, limitations. I can sell this as new. Right. Sell yours. I am ungated on this one so I can sell mine. So here we have the sellers SKU. You can type in whatever you want on there. It doesn't matter. Condition new, right? Because I'm going to want to sell it new. That's as a reseller. That's how I want to sell it. Uh, price. OK, so then this is the price that you want to sell yours at. Now, depending on how much you got it, you have to check to see if you're going to make a good uh, return on investment ROI. Um, so one way to do that, once you go to, uh, to see which ones are here, you can even see that Amazon selling this at 5121, somebody's selling it here, new condition. So this guy looks like he got a way cheaper price unless he's taking a loss. Um, but there's other people here, but it just seems like Amazon is the only one selling this prime. So, you know, that's pretty good. Um, you can go ahead and put the quantity that you want right here. Again, if you're doing online arbitrage, this is probably just going to be zero that we can kind of go ahead and just, you know, put it on there. So I'm just going to match price, right? Um, doesn't matter. This is just an example. Now I'm going to want to convert this to an FBM. And the reason why is because I don't have any inventory. So I'm just going to leave it here. I want to ship this item myself if the customer buys it. Um, so if it sells, right? If you click on the other one where I want Amazon to ship and provide all that good stuff, that means you're already converting it to FBA. We don't want to do that right now. We're just going to want to just um, save, finish, and that's going to take it to the inventory. So you see right here, your updates have been submitted, Aroma Professional Plus, Arc 5000, all that good stuff. So that's going to go. You might have to, you're probably going to have to refresh this a couple times for it to show up, especially me. I have a ton of products that I'm selling. Um, you know, so that's, that's something that you kind of want to, uh, keep in mind. So let's go on, move on to the next topic, and then we'll come back on this one. Um, that way I can show you guys the next step on this one. So now that you've added your product in your inventory, you're going to want to convert that from FBM to FBA. Now I wanted to do it this way because there's a couple steps that you need to do during the conversion. And this way we can run through a live example and show you how to do that. So the easiest way is once you're in your inventory manager page, on the right side, there's the edit uh, drop down menu. So you're going to want to drop down that menu. There's one that says conversion to uh, FBA. Click on that. And then that's going to take you to a different different page. Now, once you're there, you're going to have an option to, to select the barcode. You're either going to have the manufacturer barcode or the Amazon barcode. And you want to do the Amazon one because honestly, that's what I use. And it's simpler for me to use that. So that's why I'm just saying for you to do that. Now, you have two different options. You can either convert now 
convert only or convert and send inventory if you're doing multiple products and you're not you don't have that product on hand like if you're doing oa then just convert only but if you already have that product on hand and you're just doing just one product then you know convert and then send inventory so once you do the convert only that's going to take you to a different site and then that one's going to talk about hazardous material so it's mostly if you have any kind of toxic chemicals uh, or batteries like ion batteries, then you're going to want to list those and then select all the different types of um, uh, uh, categories that it falls under. Personally, I don't deal with anything that has to do with batteries or any hazardous material. But if you do do something like that or you're not aware of it, once you follow up the next step, that's going to tell you that Amazon has um, flagged this thing for a hazardous material. And then you're going to have to upload a safety data sheet, which I'll show you in another example of how to do that. So now that we kind of ran through the basics, let me show you a live example on how to convert a product from your inventory from FBM to FBA. Okay, so now that we've added the product, we're going to want to convert this from FBM to FBA. So as I mentioned, you're going to go over here to the right. Um, and then this one, you're going to go to change to fulfilled by Amazon. Click on that. And this is the same crock pot or slow cooker, whatever that we um, that we saw earlier. Now, this one just has the Amazon barcode already. So this one doesn't have a drop down, which is perfectly fine. Okay. Um, as I mentioned, if you go to convert and send inventory, that means you're going to convert it to FBA and already ship it out to the fulfillment center. So if you have it on hand and you're only selling that one thing, by all means, go for it. If not, just convert only. So once you go to convert only, you have this one and it's going to say add dangerous goods information. Click on that part. And then this one goes required product information. Now, from here, you're going to if it has a battery, um, you're going to have to do this whole stuff right here, right? Battery information. Yes, that's going to go right here. How are batteries utilized in this product? You're going to click on all this stuff. All these other things are going to uh, pop up that you're going to have to fill out. So let's just go ahead and click no product regulation information. Is this product considered a dangerous good hazardous material regulated for transportation, storage or waste? Um, click no. OK, uh, if it is, then by all means, click yes. If you're unsure, then just click not sure. I'll submit that. Right. Save and continue. All right. So now this one's going to take you to the inventory uh, Amazon fulfillment. So this is everything that you have FBA. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys can see that I have a bunch of stuff here. So what you're going to do is just wait a little bit, go back to your inventory on the top, go to manage inventory, and then notice right here, it's still FBM. Now you're able to know that this is FBM. It still hasn't a fully processed because there's no uh, available says zero under your reserve. There's nothing fee preview. There's nothing. If there was a, f a fee preview, then you're able to see how much fees it's going to be, how much it's going to cost, uh, basically how much your profit is, is once it's sold and Amazon takes their cut. So you're going to have to just, you know, wait it out a little bit, click, uh, keep on refreshing it. Boom. Okay. So here we go. So now this thing is active and it's FBA. So you can 100% tell by clicking the drop down menu, boom, create fulfillment order. Okay. See change to fulfillment by merchant. So our, it's already FBA. If you click on that, it's going to go back to FBM. Um, so available zero reserve zero you click on this 2090 that's how much fees it is okay so the item sells for 4967 summary of fees uh fba rates 1345 referral fee oh my god so your net profit is going to be 2877 off of that dude <laughs> that's a lot okay so with that let's move on to the next step um and then we'll provide another live example so now that we've converted our product to FBA, let's discuss what gated versus ungated is. Now, earlier we we saw how if you are gated, you're going to get a request approval. So what this means is that Amazon wants to ensure that you are a legit seller selling this product in that category or subcategory or even just that product or brand. Now, if you are ungated, you're going to get that sell yours, which means you can just go ahead, sell it, sell it, whatever condition it's in. And that's it. Now. There are other restrictions, um, and some of those are just a restriction on brands. So, example, even if you are ungated in that category, you are still restricted in that band, in that brand, meaning that 
you cannot sell that brand unless you have actual documentation from the manufacturer um, that you're able to sell that brand. For example, electronics are somewhat like that where you can't sell that item as new. Um, an example of that is like Apple or Bose. So you would actually need proper documentation. But now with the news that Amazon, um, uh, that Apple gave Amazon rights for them to be the only sellers of selling that Amazon product. So that's kind of going to be gone for arbitrage people. But you know, still, there's other different ways for you to make money on Amazon doing arbitrage. All right, so this leads us now to the request approval stage and what you're going to do and the steps that you're going to take um, to go through the whole process. Now, I was lucky enough to build up my seller performance. I sold enough volume and I had enough sales that I I am getting auto gated for a lot of things that I wouldn't even think of. For example, um, let's just run through this quick example right now. So I was just thinking of ideas to make a video on and I decided to do an Apple MacBook. So Apple MacBook Air. So I went through it. I was going to do a live example, but I just ended up clicking on it. I ended up getting approved. Now, there were different variations to this book, uh, to the MacBook. I clicked on it. I got accepted to sell this. I mean, I'm not going to sell it, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys how I did that process. So with that, let's go ahead and run through a live example of how I went through the whole process. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to find one where I don't get approved. That way I can show you where to upload certain invo invoices if you are um, if you have contact with a manufacturer and you're able to sell that product, you can show those invoices that way you can get approved for that category, subcategory or that product. So let's go ahead and do that. OK, so now let's check out how to do a request a request approval. So we're back at this one that um, I was going to show you this in an earlier example, but I ended up getting the request approval on this one. So I thought this would probably be better to show you on this one. So as you can see, I am ungated in the collectible refurbished used condition, but I am gated on the new condition, right? Right here. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and click on request approval. Um, okay. So you can sell this product in the following conditions. You can do use, refurbish, and collectible, yes? Okay, but you need approval to sell Instant Pot branded products in new condition. So we're gonna go ahead and click request approval and let's see if I can get auto ungated. Uh, if I do, that'd be kind of cool. No, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so then um, selling applications for brand, you're requesting approval uh, to sell Instant Brand items. So for this one, I'm actually gonna have to send in um, uh, documentation. So then at least one purchase invoice for product from a manufacturer distributor, one letter um, from Instant Pot authorizing you to sell their product. So if you have one of these, um, you go ahead, upload it, and then Amazon kind of goes through the whole process and they're the ones that say, okay, cool, you're approved to sell this uh, product or this brand. So my whole thing is that I need to I need to be approved to sell instant pot brand items, so I can't do it. Um, so with that, I guess that one doesn't matter. So let's so that's basically the steps if you want to get um, approved um, the request approval if you're not auto ungated. So let's find something. Let's just go to deals. OK, let's go to deals. Um, I don't even know. What is this? Honey and Sun Cinnamon Spice Tea. All right. Deals 11. All right, dude. Let's see. Okay, let's see if we can get auto ungated on this one. Search. Okay, same thing, right? Finding the ASINs. Okay, request approval. Good. Okay, so for this one, let's go ahead and request approval. I'm gated. Uh, request approval. Okay. However, we're not accepting applications to sell products in groceries, gourmet categories in used, refurbished or collectible. So I need to, okay. So you need approval to sell, uh, what is this other, I can't, Harney and Sons branded pr uh, products in the grocery and gourmet category in you. So request approval. Let's see. Auto ungated. Oh, there you go. So I just got auto ungated for this one. So I am, so it says here, your selling application is approved. Congratulations, you're selling application for brand Harney and and Sons groceries, gourmet foods have been approved based on your performance history. Woo! Okay, cool. So then here at the top, boom, it says to list uh this ASIN, you need 
to request approval for this and i got approved so now i am able to sell this um product so that's how you do it okay so based on my performance history because i've done you know I've, I've sold a lot of things okay um I got auto ungated. So so that's the key. Okay. I'm gonna make a later video. I'll probably once I make that video, I'll probably put a link on the description how I got auto ungated and what type of products that I was listing. The actual products. Um, I'll show you guys how to do that. So now that so that's two different ways, right? We got auto ungated and then another one that didn't work for auto ungated where I actually needed to submit documentation to show that I'm a legit uh reseller for that product. So with that, guys, I'd really like to thank you so much for watching my video. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions to the best of my knowledge. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. My name is Marvelous Mike, and I'll talk to you guys later.